Do you have any buffalo nickels? Do you collect them? How much is a 1917 buffalo nickel worth? It's not a key date. It's not an error coin. We will talk about it right after this. This is JNB, and welcome to our JB Coins family. We're all about coins and currency. We have new videos every day and are here to help you either start your new collection, expand an existing one, or maybe find that one valuable coin that could change your life. In this video, we will talk about 1917 Buffalo Nickels. We decided to do a video about it because, in our opinion, it's just not getting enough attention as it should. And since new sales just happened, we want to share with you their values. They are not part of the Buffalo Nickel series key dates. And you can find them coin roll hunting Buffalo Nickel rolls, or even if you're lucky, newer nickel rolls. We found a few in our coin roll hunts. In 1917, the Buffalo Nickels regular strike for business use nickels were struck at the Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco mints. No mistake with the San Francisco mint, they used to strike coins for business use too. But which buffalo nickel is the most valuable? The ones struck at the Philadelphia mint, the Denver mint, or the San Francisco mint? Now the Philadelphia mint struck over 51 million nickels, and they are e rare even in circulated condition. They won't bear a P mint mark. In grade MS65, it's worth around $350. This coin, sold in October of this year at David Lawrence Auctions for $375. Very nice money for a buffalo nickel in MS65 grade. In grade MS66 plus, this coin sold at Heritage Auction in August of this year for $2,640. A month later, in September of 2019, this 1917 MS67 plus Buffalo Nickel was sold at Legends Rare Auctions for $11,750. How cool is that? An MS67 Plus is not the highest grade for a 1917 Buffalo Nickel. The MS68 has a price tag of $40,000. Now, moving on to the Denver Mint. They struck 9.9 .9 million nickels. They will have a D mint mark. A much smaller number than the Buffalo nickels struck at the Philadelphia Mint. And because of that, they are rarer. This coin in grade MS65 sold in June of this year at Heritage Auctions for 1,000 $260, almost four times higher than the Philadelphia Buffalo Nickel in the same grade. But wait, in MS66 Plus, this coin sold at David Lawrence Auctions for $17,250. How amazing is that? And now the San Francisco Mint. The San Francisco Mint struck an even lower number of regular strike nickels than the Denver Mint did. They struck only 4.1 million nickels. These coins will bear an S mint mark. In circulated grades, the 1917S is rarer than the 1917D and sells for more. 
In grade MS65, this coin sold in August of this year at Heritage Auctions for $3,360. In grade MS66 Plus, this coin sold at Stax Bowers and also in August of this year for $19,200. Super nice money for a Buffalo nickel in this grade. Now just to compare it, if you remember the beginning of this video, the 1917P in grade MS66 Plus sold for $2,640. Quite a difference. So here's the answer to one of the questions. The 1917S is the rarest of all 1917 Buffalo nickels. And it's worth super nice money. When you go to coin shows, check that year because it's not a key date or a famous error like a three-legged buffalo, for example. Never assume this old buffalo nickel is not worth a lot, even in lower grades. You just might be nicely surprised. Do you collect buffalo nickels? How many of you have a full collection of them? Please let us know in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. So we hope you liked this short video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.